Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, I'm Christian, and I have your word for the day. Today's passage is Matthew 20, verses 29 through 34. And as they went out of Jericho, a great crowd followed him. And behold, there were two blind men sitting by the roadside. And when they heard that Jesus was passing by, they cried out, Lord, have mercy on us, son of David. The crowd rebuked them, telling them to be silent, but they cried out all the more, Lord, have mercy on us, son of David. And stopping, Jesus called them and said, What do you want for me to do for you? They said, Lord, let our eyes be opened. And Jesus, in pity, touched their eyes, and immediately they recovered their sight and followed him. <laughs> Great story, right? So these two blind men had clearly never seen God perform a miracle, yet they had faith. So when they heard that Jesus was walking by, they cried out for him to, to stop for them. And what happens? The crowd, the followers of Jesus, another name for that is Christians, tried to stop them from calling out for Jesus. This is so disgusting. It's so irritating to me. Uh, these people were following Jesus, and yet these blind men are crying out to Jesus, so they try to stop them, right? But it makes me wonder, what would I do? If I'm so focused on what I'm wanting all the time, am I going to be cognizant of what somebody else needs? I hope so, but it makes me think about that. Anyway, these two blind men were undeterred, and they continued crying out for God. So Jesus stops, asks them, what do you want me for, to do for you? And they immediately answered, well, we want our eyes to be open. We want our vision. So God takes pity on them and heals them. So don't be deterred by people telling you to stop. If you're crying out to Jesus, whether they're Christians or not, Continue crying out to Jesus, like these blind men represented for us here. And then know what you, need to, what you need from Jesus. Be specific in your ask. And it's likely that we could use our eyes to be opened as well. We could probably ask for more vision to better understand what God would have for us. Finally, they followed Jesus. So let's do the same. Let's study God's word. Let's follow Jesus in our lives as well and really, truly allow for him to, to transform our lives and change us and to make us a new creation. I hope today's message has blessed you. Have a great week, Calvary. Bye-bye.